Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Liu Chong campaign. This is episode 16. We pick it up from turn 93 in the summer season of 201. So jumping back into the game, uh, we have taken Jian Ye, and we're gonna build it up quite nicely. Uh, we are stuck in a large city, so we might as well go all the way to a small regional city to make it worth uh, to get our extra slot. And uh, I think it's missing a private workshop for sure, and also a marketplace. Uh, it's missing two buildings, so we're gonna keep upgrading here. Um, we're gonna be marching our armies down towards uh, Kaiji over uh, Kaiji over here. Yeah, keep saying it wrong. It's Kaiji, and uh, we're gonna grab the rest of this pretty quickly we can scout ahead a little bit we haven't declared war on them yet so they don't know what's coming uh, we can also attack Lady Ding afterward uh, we broke off uh, our military access with them uh, but by the time we finish them off we should be able to attack them then we're actually going to be bordering Cao Cao and uh, uh, Lady Wu over here and then it's probably time to turn on the Ha Empire as well, because we're going to be hitting uh, Emperor ourselves very soon, because there's not much prestige left, and at the rate we're building tall, uh, we're going to get a lot of prestige point from our settlements. And speaking of building tall, hmm. All right, finally got the entrepreneur. We want the more commerce version, so this is the right one. We could wait for one reform though for a 20% discount, uh, but money is not such a big issue here. Uh, but this is a nice five turn wait for us to get that 20% discount when we get shaft mining, which we need to upgrade the iron mine as well. So as you see, we are definitely going tall in a lot of places. Loyal. Uh, this one just hit the max. We're gonna go with uh, a corruption reduction here, and then we can also upgrade this because we got entrepreneur now. Um, let's see. There's one commandery I want to make a change to. That's Langya over here. Um, we might not need this building anymore, even though. Ah, uh, let's keep it because eventually we're gonna turn on these guys as well. Eventually. We might be doing a reshuffle with Liu Bei's army too. We might send them... Uh, we don't have to get rid of the units in their case. Uh, we want to send them maybe over here because this is where most of the action is. Once again, we don't have enough money to give Zhang Nao an actual force. And uh, we have a noble sword which we should give to maybe one of our strategists. There we go. All right, let's continue. They do have a force here and, ooh, that's trouble. Mm, that's a little unfortunate. I mean, hopefully we retreat close enough to the city to get reinforcement. That's the one saving grace here. Yeah, Cao Cao really like to stage his attack out of our neighbors. Really annoying. But let's continue here. Alright, so we're going to pull away. Alrighty. So right before we attack them, their heir came of age. Liu Pian. Okay. And replace the regent. That's fine. Doesn't really affect the war. Mm, they're increasing their manpower right before we could attack. Smart. Um, but not smart enough. We're going to just march these guys over. Now the problem is this is a river here. So... The actual route to go in will be over here. I think we're just gonna march all together to this road and go together through the road. 
Meanwhile, let's actually spend some money and give them the units they need. And then we'll worry about buildings. Ooh, very nice armor. Very nice armor. So why do these awesome armor unit keep leaving their factions? I mean, I'm not complaining. Let's see. Do we have anyone with good traits? As we're approaching our uh, king rank or emperor rank, we can just stay, uh, start looking for you know good leadership roles because we're going to get a couple openings. Uh, clerks are always great. Uh, if we have a sentinel that's a clerk, that's excellent construction time discount there. All right, they should be fine here. I want to pull Liu Bei over though. I feel like most of the fighting is going to be in the south. And are around here, but this doesn't need a permanent army. I feel Liu Bei can start moving. We can actually march them a little bit faster. All right, let's see. Chen, reform locked. Same thing here. Same thing here. Not the same thing here, though. There's a bunch we can upgrade. We can upgrade this so it's more defensible. We can upgrade these two. Um, fervor is fine. This will knock it to zero. This will fix public order. Let's fix public order first. All right. Loya. Mm, this has been waiting for a long time. Let's get this built first. Alright. If we're pulling another army, it's definitely Zhang He leading that army. We can take his armor off. I don't think he's that terrible, though. He's pretty decent. He's just a little old. He has good skills, good traits, just a little old. So Zhang He could take this armor. Too bad we don't have... Oh, we have a better weapon. Okay, not so bad. We would really like to get Cao Cao's horse, though. If we get the Shadow Runner set, that would be pretty amazing. Um, Alright. We'll keep the guy. He's not costing us too much. He's pretty good. Mm, these shouldn't be a threat. We should be fine. Let's just keep marching towards uh, uh, Kwaizi over here. <laughs> what do you know? They have night battle. So they're trying to hunt down our burn officers. We're just going to retreat. Uh, they spend a movement to get across the river. So they're stuck here with us. The other burn officer. Oh, Liu Xun is offering us payment to marry their 16-year-old daughter, who just came of age, to our 59-year-old leader. Uh, why do you do this to your kids? Reject. All right, new turn. We build a temple that satisfy a mission. That's great. Uh, we're missing two. Grain storage. We're probably not going to build. I'm probably not going to get a lions there. We could try. We could try to secure a few alliances before we hit King. He did just try to offer us his daughter. He can't hate us. Now where is he? Oh, he's a vassal of someone. Uh, so that's not going to happen. Hmm. Who do we really want to be allies with? I think it wouldn't hurt to be allies with him, just because we're neighbors. Wait, did he offer us this? No, this is a different daughter. It was Liu Xun who offered us. 
Mm. Nope. Yep, not happening. So he came here to try to take down our burn officers, but now he's stuck with us. That's just great news for him. So now we wipe him off. Oh, he's running that way. Mm, doesn't matter, we're going to declare war this turn. Ooh, shortly after break? We, we did this a long time ago. Still five more turns? Do we want to respect that? I guess we could. We could wait for a few more reforms before we bump ourselves to king and plus there's some armies running around. We're just going to delegate this fight then. Tough luck. They actually hit 31 guys. Cavalry again. Uh, we're releasing both. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have this army stay here. They're better suited for siege. They'll go back, take care of that. These guys will just stand here for now. They're in the right county for both situations. Alright, we have a level up. Let's see, who is the lucky guy? Uh, he is 59 as well. He'd be a pretty good... Yeah, he'll be a pretty good um, leadership role. A lot of good stats. So we probably want to get understanding. Alright, back to focus on our build. This is ready, just waiting for reforms. Might as well get this covered. It's just one turn. Uh, this makes the defense a little better. Alright, this is waiting for reforms. Yep. We're good everywhere. This army can be a little bit more active. Especially with Liu Bei coming down. We should be okay. These guys won't betray us. The north is just a mess right now. With the yellow turban still here. Yuan Shao is getting pretty strong too. He's eating up Zhang Bao's territory. And the Han Empire. So they lost they lost the territory to rebels. So the Yellow Turbans lost a territory to rebels and became Han Empire. That's my assumption here. Alright, anyways. That's fine. We're gonna wait and respect this uh, trustworthy thing. We have been pretty trustworthy this whole game. Might as well keep it that way. Alright, we're going to have a little bit more fun here, because, well first we're going to get energetic, because Huang Gai is here. Is it Lu Su? Yep. So Wu has sent an army. He's on march. Means we can actually cut him off. They're still all in the Copper Mine County, so the effect is still active. Alright, this should be an interesting fight. Over here, Tong is back too, for round two. 
with two new generals. All right, let's get all the building out of the way and we can get into that fight over there. So I feel like we're going to actually hit our 500 if we keep upgrading. But I see no reason why we shouldn't upgrade. Because we need something to contain the corruption here. So that will cost us another 8 food, I believe. All right, so we're down to 7 food. This will also drop us by six foods. So we're down to one food. This will drop us by another six food. So we're down to negative five food. So we gotta start finding food in some of our commanderies. Um, there are a few options. I think over here we can find a little bit of food when we upgrade this. And that might be it. Maybe we can't afford this right now. Yeah, maybe we can't. We don't have enough food. After we get Kwaizi, we should have enough. Well, Kaizi. I keep saying Kwaizi. I don't know. It's just stuck on my mind. Uh, we don't mind the expense. We'll go for this. Alright. That's enough of the assignments there. Bandit, 45, greedy, pass. Hmm. Should we sail down and join the fight? Probably not necessary right now. Alright. Let's get this fight done here. Hmm, Huang Gai. Only 47. Looks like an ancient old man. We would like his horse or weapon. Um, feels like Wu haven't done a lot of fighting. He's level 1, he's level 1, he's level 3. So it feels like they're all relatively low level. Lu Su is in danger of dying after this fight. If we kill him on the battlefield, he's done. And we have, what, 6 burn officers? So even with a, you know, even with his cunning level, there's no ammo on any of these units. Yeah, this is just crazy. All right, let's kill them. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in here. Uh, we Our whole army has a uh, guerrilla deployment again, so we can definitely pick where we want to fight them. It's very densely forested. Not so great, but um, I feel like we can just fight them here. Doesn't really matter. Their cavalry is on one side. That's the only thing we have to watch out for. We could also fight them here. That would actually be a little bit more interesting. We're downhill though. But I really like the clearing. Yeah, we don't really have a good uphill position except for over here. Fine, we'll just fight them here. Mm, that's giving them too much range advantage. We can go here. Mm, still better if we pull it back a bit, because we can still hit them from here. Right, this way. Eh. Alright, let's just do it here. So, let's see. We want these guys to be in the front. Right here, guarding the tribuches. We want these guys right here. We'll give them two units behind. Don't like this patch of tree, but just have to deal with it. There we go. And these guys will just hide. Like always. Uh, that's not really good hiding. Call them two. Call them one. 
We don't need to charge up this time because they don't have ammo, so we don't need to take care of their siege weapons. We're just hiding behind. Let's go. Fire, please. There we go. Hmm. They picked a Z militia to hit. Interesting. Can we... Actually, let me control them. Feels like they know we're here, you know, with the way they're running and the way they're all shifting. Super annoying. Alright, we're gonna run back. I'm not gonna let them run hit us. They just know. It's annoying. Well, we can do something about that. If you guys wanna play this way. That's right. Hmm. They're all shifting toward these guys who are hidden. This makes no sense. You guys can auto fire. We're gonna counter attack. See, we're giving them such a great time to cluster up. Oh, please hit that. Please hit that. Fire? There we go. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, who's chasing who now? See, I don't know why they keep chasing the cavalry. Oh, Zhou Tai versus Huang Gai is a show I want to see. I might get through. Just pick your own targets. Honestly, I want to hit here. Keep chasing away. We'll let our archers take care of it. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky. Come help. 
We actually don't lose that many men in the charge. We have pretty high armor. Alright, come back and kill him. Yeah, they kill like 40 guys. Now, I'm not sure we can win this duel. Hong Guy is pretty well equipped. And yeah, he's legendary general with extra stats. I see. Looks like we got him. But it's close. Oh, it's really close. Alright, we'll turn this off. Surprise us. Ah, we got him. 45 health. We won with 45 health. We got the heal off the uh, after dueling effect. Alright. Alrighty. Zhou Tai and Huang Gai going at it. That's the scene you didn't expect to see. Oh, we captured all three. Hey, they want to join us. Oh, Huang Gai, come on, join us. Um, we'll take Lu Su for sure. Huang Gai will release. Hopefully, he comes back. And he's not bad either. We'll grab him. He has all that mercenary archers. We'll get. I mean, replenish will help Zhou Tai out, but I don't think everyone else is pretty healthy, so we'll just ransom. Okay, that turned out pretty great. Um, we got Lu Su. Uh, the retinue's not so great. Um, how come he didn't get any mercenary archers, right? How come he has four and he's a, uh, you know, vanguard? I mean, easy. I mean, these guys are pretty good. Um, I guess their best quality is still the fact that they come fully replenished for, you know, Sun Zian's faction, but not too bad. Probably just have to get rid of those then. I also have to get rid of most of these units. Anyways, uh, good fight. They can also still take care of that mess if that should proceed. And we're going to wait a few more turns for them as we build up and get prepared to become king. Nobe's mm, army is still moving down, but they already moved. Yeah, we did everything before this turn start, before we took the fight. So we're good. Let's just continue. All right, new turn. Oh, they returned our spy after being there for so long? Okay. That's terrible news. There goes our assassination plan. Alright, we need more food. Alright, we need another army here too. Matter of fact, we need another army because we have a uh, army moving against us here. Cao Chun's leading it for uh, this is Liu Zhang's faction. Uh, we'll pass. A little sad about the spy situation. She was doing so great. 
All right, we can pick up. We need that, but we're gonna pick up this first. We also need that. We need a lot of things. This will benefit a lot of places, so we're gonna get that first. All right, Zhang Ho is coming out. Mm. We'll grab one of these new guys. He's gonna die here if we don't use him. Might as well use him for now. And we can just grab a strategist. Alright, uh, we can't just recruit all cavalrys though. It's not our winning formula against these armies. This is just a temporary army. So, militia units they have. So, we're gonna do. Protect us from cavalry, and then she's gonna do two siege. There we go. Mm, and rebellion's also going to happen in Chen, but we're ready for that. Alright, let's see. We can upgrade Iron Mine here. We can upgrade this after that levels up. Iron Mine here. And that's it. Jade, two jade, one Jade Mine, two Iron Mine. We need to move them over here. Yeah, I don't know where this army is going. Alright, they still have a lot of time. Alright, they're going to get chased. Going to keep running. That's fine. Same thing for them. Alright. They'll just be assigned to each one. Lucky them. And that's all we can do. Let's go to next turn. Okay, the night battle idea is coming back. We're just going to retreat. Alright, Ryanshu will turn away our spy and is asking for us for legitimacy. No way. Alrighty. So I feel like this is actually pretty safe. Uh, we're going to be here next to the crossing. Their job is pretty easy. Are they ran? Just delegate this fight. Alright, the army's off the field because uh, they they retreated. We captured all three. Hmm. This is actually really good. How do they have so many good generals? Alright, this one's not so great. And this one is not so great. Yeah. He's picking up levels pretty fast. Uh, we don't need reach. We probably just want to get that skill and probably go down. Maybe mm, maybe we need both. We don't have night battle in this army. We do have the money now. He also has the level to actually get the proper units. There we go. To be honest, the Zor Dragon isn't really worth it. They're not as strong and they cost way more. And they don't actually serve a role in our army. They're not actually capable enough to protect our flank. So we're just going to go all Chen Royal Guards. I don't know if we can reach them. If we can, yes we can. That'd be great. Um, before we make that move... I want to get into the same county. Run, 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 run. I think he got there in time. Ah, uh, no. It wouldn't be too ammo if he got there in time. 
Well, two ammo isn't so bad. Alright, let's fight them. Uh, we're meeting, what, Cao Ren? Uh, nobody. Cao Ang? Nobody and nobody. Okay, so Cao Cao's cousin and Cao Cao's son. Let's fight them. Alrighty. Uh, very flat map. We have the ele uh, uh, we have the elevation against them too. So we're gonna just place these guys here. These guys will be placed out here. With, you know, with extreme unit size, the problem is there's not enough real estate for us to put our units. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna do three of them here, and then three of them. Yeah, just have way too many men. Um, let's see if we can draw one of them over. Let's go. Alright, they're not coming over, we're just gonna go snipe them then. Sorry, we're after your strategist. Oh, uh, nope, we're not dueling. That's not our strength. Our strength is sniping generals. Let's see him disappear. Yep. He's gone. Uh, we're gonna get our crossbow out and we're gonna shoot at Torrent. We have exactly 19 shots, so that's 38k damage. It should kill him if we don't miss like two shots. We should kill. Oh, he also has pretty high range block chance if he wants to. Oh, who are we shooting? Are we hitting him? Oh, we are hitting him. Okay, good. Oh, he's dying. How many shots? Ten shots? Wow. Color me impressed. Uh... Let's do. There we go. Oh, they had a tower here too? Sneaky. Alright, let's go chase after them. Now here comes the real army. Since they're coming at an angle, we're going to adjust our formation a little bit. We're gonna go back to our sniping business. Yeah, we still have 19 shots, plenty to use. Alright, those hit. 
敌军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。敌军士兵正在溃逃，加快速度，赶快赶快，速度前进。Wow, did seventeen k damage with that ability. 敌军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。Oh no no no! We want to use the ability. He's dead. Ha! 敌军士兵正在溃逃。We didn't kill him. Oh, I don't want to get chased by them. No, we're not dueling. Ha! 敌军士兵正在溃逃。Uh, we need to use this to reduce their morale. 快集合兵力，将军有难，急需救援。All right, did that actually work? Ooh, hundred percent range block chance. Smart. That's only gonna buy you a little time. Thirty second of it, and then you die. Ah, we got caught. Come on, let us charge out of this mess. That guy's blocking us. Yeah, no one's touching our Chen Royal Guards. Just, there's no way. Like I think we can't even kill the generals with our archers. We'll help. Make sure we don't get shot. We miss. Can kill him. We're, oh, we're actually not shooting at her. Okay. That's a uh, you know loss of two units. They're so sturdy. Right, he's gonna die of archers. Poor guy. You have to run forward sometime if you want to survive. Oh my God! She has unbreakable, doesn't she? Yep. Here, help us hack her to death. They do decent armor piercing damage. Where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. We don't want to fire her. Good luck. 3,000 men charging at you. This is what happens when you're the only one left with Unbreakable. All right, we won. Alrighty. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Hmm, she's willing to come to our side. This is the unbreakable general. Not terrible. 
But I think I'm just gonna release all three. Tata owes us so much for releasing their generals all the time. Alright, I don't think we need to go back. I think we can actually get ready for this. And plus, there's more armies coming out from Cao Cao's faction, marching up through, uh... Yeah, through this area. I think there- I think I saw Xiao Yuan's army again. Uh, they never quit. Alright, anyone wants to call peace with us? Nobody. I don't know why they... They're just not willing to, huh? Fine. Alrighty. Uh, if that's the case, I think we can just check the buildings and then move on. Xiao Rong? Could be a good spy. I don't know, kind of disillusioned with our spying situation. We had such a good spy in for so deep and then she got she couldn't close the deal. And now she can't spy anymore? Is that the case? Or is she not back yet? I think she's back, just maybe she lost her ability to spy. Uh, this is someone we just got, um, Patience, this is our spy, she can no longer spy. Well then your use for us is pretty much over. Yeah I think we're just gonna release you then. You're a spy who has her cover blown. Alright, 23 food now. Maybe we can make this move. Alright, rebellion has happened. We're gonna just take care of it. Oh, we missed it last turn. I'm surprised we can beat an army of two groups, but that's nice. Oh no, we didn't miss it last turn. This is the first turn. They just two group got spawned at the same time. Interesting. Because we are at 80, we're not at 60, so I didn't miss any turns. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. We upgraded this to build this. We also got our mine upgrade, so a lot of things can be built here. We need an administrator here. Yeah, what have I been doing? Um. So far we have Yangzhou, which is fine. It's mainly peasantry. So Dong needs a change. I don't think we actually need another. So Taishi Ci is not the best. Matter of fact, he's not that great. We can probably relieve him of this duty and find someone else better and he can actually come onto the battlefield. Yeah, she's decent, but not great either. Not great. Not great. Not great. What about our burn officers? They're automatically going to have plus 10% income. Mi Feng? Yes, yeah, back to Mi Feng again. He just needs to pick up this. Okay, so we're going to. Fire Taishi Ci. Now, our other administrator here, Nanyang. Hmm. Chen. Yangzhou. Yeah, Nanyang's not bad. Okay, fine. We'll just switch one right now. Now is Taishi Ci super mad at us? Oh, not, not really. Not really. 
Okay. He can start planning to make his appearance onto the battlefield. We can summon him over here too. I hope he and Zhang He can get along. Wait, wait, wait. Zhang He is currently on the battlefield already. Hmm. Maybe we need to summon Zhang He back. And just put some random guy here. Alright, actually, let's do that. We'll give Zhang He a real army. Oh, oh, no, no, no. We want to... Mm, let's see. We got so many new generals. Someone must be suited. Oh, we can put him in. But that'll be next turn. We can put him in. Yeah, why not? He's level one. He can use some help. Uh, I guess we don't need to switch you. There we go. Alright, and then Tychus' army can also be here taking over the south. Basically, we're focused on the south right now. Um, we got all the buildings done, I believe. Nope. Alright, now we're good. All right, we're going to hit King very soon, just from all these upgrades on the building. So let's just continue. All right, Northern Wars does not concern me. All right, it feels like this area is safe, too. We're actually going to get Guan Yu marching. We're going to launch a naval assault. Maybe on the rice paddy first. Let's not get too ambitious. Alright, we're gonna resolve this. Delegate. Uh, we'll just release. Alright, now we took care of all the issues. We're going over here again. Now, there might be more army coming from over here. Let's see how many more turns do we have to wait for this. Oh. Well, it's okay. We needed to do that anyways. So I guess they could wait. We can march into their territory now. Oh, this is actually faster than this way, huh? Okay. I'll go... Ooh. L unlucky them. We lost the men. One cavalry. Okay. The cavalry seems to get injured a lot. We'll heal the generals. The 90 gold isn't worth it. Alright, we can finish them off. No, we don't need to. We'll just go here. Follow them. Alright, so we're going to shift Guan Yu's army down too. And we're going to summon another army down here too. Alright, we mean business down here. Copper mine. Ah, uh, we hit our army limit? Okay, then we'll wait till we hit King and then we'll summon another army down here. We're gonna hit King. Whenever one of these buildings finishes, we're probably gonna go up. Um, right here, we're good. 
Right. So this is administrative office. Food. Um. There's a lot of things we want to build here. Probably this first. Probably the most lucrative option. Alright, this is a good build, but I feel like the money isn't worth it here. That we could probably just downgrade to just make it food production. Similar to what we did in our uh, Liu Bei What's Pl uh, campaign. Where we just keep these three buildings. Because no one's coming to attack it, so I don't think we need this. Demolish. Demolish. And then we'll downgrade after this finishes. Uh, then we'll keep we'll keep this for income for one more turn. This way we free up a little bit even more food so you know Chen can go up again. Because we hit max population. Alright. Uh let's see. Armies all good? Yes, defense. Defense. They're sailing down. They might strike pretty deep, but... Yeah, we should be fine. Not too worried. Yeah, we accidentally declare war on them. But they're in trouble. They Yeah, they're dying. Hmm. I'm tempted to have Liu Bei fight this. But I guess we don't need to. We're good as of now. Let's continue. Alright, Lady Dean wants peace with us, but... Nope, your faction is getting destroyed. Your son is getting on my nerves. Alright. None of our business. Hmm, I don't think we need either one of these. Selfless. Aren't you great? Alright, we need to get this army running with that army because they're just sailing down. Other than that, I feel like we can take this and I think we're going to become Emperor. Yeah, we just need six more points. Oh, Han Dang Chen Pu. Okay. The old guards of Wu are all showing up. And we will continue sailing down. Mm, the salt mine might be a little exposed. But so is the copper mine. It's the same thing either way. Alright, so we're going to get Emperor right here. Let's do it. Oh, there's no... Hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, then we should have used the other guy. Hmm. So we didn't become king because it was a small town. <laughs> we got a new general, though. Oh, she's not bad. Alright, we're gonna kill these yellow turbans. Did we not wipe them out? Wow, they're still on the map. Can we? We can't. That's fine. Uh, we might just want to rush it a little bit. How many prestige? Four points? Eight points? That should push us over. Yeah, I just really want to be king. Um, here we go. We're going to be Emperor of Chen. Han Shi. 
此乃顺应天意。泱泱大国，陷入纷争乱世。曾经的诸侯，如今各怀鬼胎。旧事已亡，天道轮回，其实已终。天下之事，瞬息万变。Alrighty, we are now officially king, emperor, lady Wu. Who else? Oh my God, it's Cao Cao and Lady Wu. Okay. And their coalition break, their alliance breaks. Perfect. Uh, from Dong Zhuo to Cao Cao. Okay. Sure. So this game isn't going to last very long because the two emperor seat is one's right here. Do they not have an emperor seat? That's their. Wait. Right. Where's their? Where's their emperor seat? I I'm assuming that's it, but the symbol doesn't look right. It doesn't have the capital symbol on it. And looking at their fervor, they must have a really bad yellow turban situation. Yeah, so we're we're probably the problem is I feel like we're not gonna get the final victory. What if the mandate war is still going? Right, we're not done with this yet. Yuan Shu Yuan Shao, hurry up. Zhang Jiao is still alive, but Yuan Shao is is doing pretty well. And people didn't automatically hate me, just the people who originally hated. See, Cao Cao loves us. Look how many people we returned to him. We released. We released. We released. All right. Anyways, um, we're gonna have to take some time next episode to digest all this and. Surprisingly, we get administrator fired every time this happens. Hmm. I don't know if this is a bug or not, but the minister just disappears, and we have to reset our court a little bit as well. Um, but pretty nice. Um, uh, we just have to focus down south. It's not a mistake. We have all our armies here. Uh, Liu Bei is probably better off joining us as well. And we can summon Taishitsu's army. Then we have like one, two, three, four, five armies bearing down over here, and we can attack the Han territory anytime we want because Cao Cao inherited them. So maybe Liu Bei's first job will just to take over all these Han territories first, and then he can come join us. So that's it. That's it for this episode.、Uh, we're now officially the Kingdom of Chen, and we, you know, listen to you guys, capital of Chen, in the Kingdom of Chen. So we wasted all this、uh, excellent 100% extra commerce and 50% income from all source. The only thing we're gonna boost is more peasantry. It's not bad, but it could be so much better in Jianye. Jianye with this boost, off the charts.、Uh, but not gonna complain. It makes sense for the Kingdom Chen to have its capital in Chen. So see you guys next time. Bye.